Woo! What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Night Phase. Y'all know me as Dwight. I'll make sure you follow me on Instagram at Epic D Media. If you haven't yet, I'll leave my username in the description down below. But how you guys doing? I'm super hyped and excited to be doing one of these videos again. Yes, it's a pickup slash haul video. Picked up some Criterions, four of them. I've been looking forward to since last year to the Criterion sale, and they finally had it. I was a little worried. I wasn't sure if they were going to do it, but they finally did. It starts today, July 10th, Friday. Um, yeah, so I made sure I ordered my movies on Barnes & Noble, you know, the, their website. And I picked it up at the store, and I just came back. And it is a hot day here in Florida, and mixed with the Rona out there, you know, having to wear a mask is just... Ugh. Man, but it was worth it. It was worth it, you know. So I'm going to share with you guys real quick what I picked up. So far, I have six Criterions in total in the collection. No, that's not much, but hey, I'm late to the game. And I'm just happy I was able to get these. So yeah, it's 50% off right now from July 10th all the way to August 3rd, I believe. So it's going to be like all month long. Uh, make sure you guys take advantage of these deals. If you're into collecting uh, Criterions, I mean, be before I even started co collecting them, I always figured it was just, you know, um, old black and white classical films and just artsy-fartsy kind of films. But it's not that at all. They have really good, like, classic films, like I'm about to share with you guys that I really, really like. So there's something for everybody in the Criterion Collection, so... Definitely take advantage now is the time, and I did. I picked up four titles, so they're twenty dollars a piece, so that's eighty dollars in total. Not bad. And I do plan on picking up Marriage Story, one of my favorite films of 2019, is finally getting released on Criterion, and that will complete uh, my top ten favorite films of 2019 that I will officially own in my collection. So I'm super excited for that. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up. The day of release at Barnes and Noble instead of ordering it online. So I want to, you know, because they were trying to charge me a, a shipping fee, shipping and handling, uh, because they didn't have some of these available online. They didn't have them in stock online, but they did have them at the store I went to. So I had to go through the whole pickup. Anyway, here we go. Let's start with the first one. We're going to unbox these as well. The first one up is Lahane. It's a French foreign film starring Vincent Castle. I believe that's how you say his name. Heard a lot of great things about this film. I um, heard it's really relevant to today's issues when it comes to, you know, racism and hatred and I believe police brutality as well. So just a premise really intrigued me. This was made in 1995. It's in black and white. Uh, this is a film I've been wanting to see for like the longest. I don't know where to go see it at. I just found out you can see it for free on YouTube, but oh well. <laughs> Too late for that. So we're just going to unbox this. I heard a little rattling in there, so I'm a little worried about that, but hopefully it's all good and you know, it's not like broken or anything. I doubt it, but I mean the case. The case is, you know. So we're going to unbox this bad boy. Uh, yeah, this was a blind buy. This is the only blind buy. The rest of the films that I picked up, I... Did, did see, I've seen many times, and I just wanted it. It's like a special edition of those films, so Criterion is the way to go. They have the best transfers, uh, best special features, like a shitload of supplements, as they call them, and it's worth it, in my opinion, for $20. <laughs> I wouldn't pay $4 uh, for these movies. That's, that's asking too much. But, um, all right, so the plastic is off. And I'm just checking the plastic. There's nothing broken. Okay, good. Okay, good. It's the disc was not loose. It was just making that sound. But there it is, Lahane. You guys can see that Lahane, filmed by Matthew Kasowitz. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> that was a poor attempt at a French accent. I don't know what the hell that was, honestly, but. Comes with the manual. I like it when it comes with the manual, the booklet. There, it's pretty cool. Um, just some read up about the films, the chapters. Uh, there's Vincent Cassell's character, who's very young. 
He's a well-known actor in Europe. Some behind-the-scenes images right there is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I look forward to it. It's going to be a first-time watch. When I see it, I definitely will post my thoughts, possibly a review on in my Instagram. That's why I make sure you follow me. I'm very active on Instagram. I have been throughout the years. That's my main social media platform. Uh, there you have the character of Vincent Cassell with a gun. Pretty badass. Really look forward to this. I like gritty, dark crime dramas. It has like a an American History X feel to it, like a look to it. That's what it reminds me of because it's in black and white. And then you got like a skinhead looking <laughs> white character. But I, I doubt this This has nothing to do with skinheads, like Edward Norton's character in that movie. But uh, yeah, I look forward to it. I look forward to it. Uh, this is uh, in a lot of people's like, I don't know, top... 50 list, top 20 list. I always hear about this film. I'm excited to find, check it out. So, Lehane. Next one up is The Princess Bride. This beautiful, beautiful digibook. It's a digibook in my opinion. I mean, it's a book. Come on. It's like, come on. I mean, of this is one of my most sought after uh, criterions. And I finally own it. I'm so happy to have a special edition of this movie. Uh, I did not see this movie for the first time until, like, I think two years ago or something like that, 2018, 2019. And I was missing out. I love this movie. As you wish. When he tumbles down the hill, it's hilarious. I love the satire, the comedy here. Inconceivable. You know, it's just, it's so funny. I love it. Um, it's, it's great. It's great. I can see why people love this. It's one of the best. Uh, fantasy films like ever made it just the simplicity of it telling kid a story and it's just look it just i love it i love that it's it's an actual book it looks like the book that grandpa reads and it's so awesome uh what was the the saying goes my name is Inigo montoya you kill my father prepare to die i love that my name is Inigo montoya you kill my father prepare to die love it could go on about this movie Let's just unbox this. I'm super excited. Hopefully I don't fuck up the pages. I'm just going to go real, real light here. Mm. There you go. Oh, man. Super excited for this. I just, I love the color of this. I just, I love it to death. Man, I love the feel. It feels like an actual book. Holy crap. Um, yeah. It's like, what's, what is this? Sway? What, what is that? Love that feeling. Uh, usually, I, I read that if you take this off, the sticker kind of messes up the back. So, but we're still gonna do it because I eh, we're gonna do a light, a little light pull here. Hopefully, you don't mess it up too bad. No, 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 no. Don't, don't be me. Don't be me. Come on. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It's just uh, that wasn't too bad at all. As you wish. <laughs> I love that. As you wish. Oh my! And then she throws herself off. It's so hilarious. If you don't laugh at that scene, you have no soul. You have no soul whatsoever. It's, I, I die laughing every time I, I watch that scene. Um, oh my god, look at this! Look at look how beautiful it is. This is easily 10 out of 10 best criterion packaging ever. Serious. Oh my god. We gotta love this. It, it is an actual book. You got like the like words of a book, like oh my god, just I love it. This is this is great. How it all happened. Look at that. Just the artwork, people. This is how you do a release. Holy crap, Criterion. I am a lucky guy to uh, to own this. There's a disc. I, I love it. Perfection. Packaging perfection. I'm a sucker for digi books. And um yeah, this fits well with the movie, you know. It's book within the book of the film. It just it's perfect. Perfect. Perfection. All right, here we go. The last two now. Next one up is Night of the Living Dead, one of my favorite uh, zombie films. Uh, the one that started it all, I guess. George A. Romero made this in the 60s, and this has been the staple of zombie films ever since. Uh, yeah, for good reason, and I, I just love the 
also the political commentary that George A. Romero did at the time. My God, he he did like a political statement, eh? casting a, an African American actor, a black actor, to play the lead role, the hero in the story. And what happens in the end is so tragic, but so relevant till this day. It it ra- enrages me whenever every time I see that ending, because it hits so hard, but it's so true. And I can go on praising this. This is one of my favorite zombie films. One of my favorite black and white films. Uh, made in 1968, just so effective, so creepy, eerie. I think the black and white really lends itself to the atmosphere of this film uh, because it has like that documentary feel uh, because of the black and white. Uh, they did a remake of it in the 90s, I believe, with the Candyman actor Tony Todd, which was good, but it wasn't as effective as this one. Um, I'm happy I finally own it. I, I think I had the Mill Creek standard Blu-ray edition, and I got rid of that. Because I wanted this bad boy. Just look at that. So we're going to unbox this as well. Here we go. All right. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. That's what she said. People still do those jokes? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. How are you guys doing, by the way? I hope everybody's doing well. hope everybody's surviving. hope everybody's... Doing good health wise, make sure you stay indoors as much as you can. If you're going to be out there, make sure you wear your mask. You already know. Um, but anyway, here we go. Uh, this is, I, I forgot to show the spines. This is a 909. You see it? Criterion Collection. Very cool. I like the cover. Uh, how does it, does it slip out? Like, what the fuck? Hold on a second. <laughs> Wait, oh, there it goes. There it is. Slips on, slides on it. There you got the zombos, the zombies. Due to the coronavirus, this is what happens. If you don't wear your mask, people. So wear your goddamn mask. <laughs> or else you're going to turn into this. You're going to be the walking dead. Oh, cool. I forgot this comes with a, with a poster. We're going to check that out. I like that. I like I wish there was some artwork here, but the black, it's fine. Night of the Living Dead, disc one, disc two. Is there anything behind the disc? No, there's not, so I'm not going to take them out. Put you back in there. Pretty cool artwork. I like that. I like that it comes with that poster. I think this is the poster of the little girl. The little zombie girl. It freaks me out. Yes, it is. I think it is. It's so cool. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I, I probably would hang this. Poster. Oh, there's um, a read up on the back. Oh, there it is. There it is. You guys can see that. The zombie girl. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Ooh. <laughs> awesome. I like that. That's pretty cool. I like, see? I like that when, when, you know, they release something like this and they just add a few things in there. It just goes a long way. Appreciate that. Me- oh, mere anarchy is loose. Hmm. You got the cast here. Dwayne Jones is the actor, I believe, who's the lead. Um, yeah, just such great, like revolutionary uh, horror film. I mean, that stands the test of time. It's amazing. By society literally devouring itself, as George A. Romero said. May he rest in peace, the legend. If it wasn't for him, I don't think we would have uh, zombies in pop culture be this popular, this well-known, you know? So we owe it all to him. I'm going to put this on the side. I can't slip a slide on in with that. So she said, again. <laughs> all right, next one up. The last one is, that's right, The Silence of the Lambs. Push the lotion in the fucking basket. <laughs> put the lotion in the basket. Hello, Clarice. Quid pro quo, Clarice. Terrible Buffalo Bill impression. Terrible <laughs> Adam Lecter impression, I know. But hey, I like to try. I like to try. Focus. There we go. Uh, I think this was my number one sought after uh, criterion. Just look at this. I absolutely love The Sounds of the Lambs. I believe it is one of the best like horror thrillers like ever made, ever. 
it's a film that's just perfect, I think, uh, from beginning to end, just the narrative, the way the story unfolds, the characters, um, you know, Clarice Starling, played wonderfully by Jodie Foster, um, Ted Levine as Buffalo Bill is terrifying. Anthony Hopkins. I mean, it's insane to this day. That's how great and legendary of an actor Anthony Hopkins is. He only had, like, what, 16 minutes total of screen time of playing Hannibal Lecter, and he won the Oscar. This is the first, like, horror film to win a lot of Oscars because you know how the Oscars are. They're like, oh, you don't like horror films, and fuck that. But, uh, yeah. Sorry, my, my camera was lagging there for a minute. I, I hate that. Got to get a new camera, so. So, another one that slips on out. Come on. It's pretty cool. I like that. Same thing as um, packaging, as the Night of the Living Dead packaging. I like that shot of the moth there. It's pretty cool. And the booklet. Signs of the Lambs. Can't wait to check out the special features. And there's Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal the Cannibal. One of the best villains in cinema. Seriously. It's so crazy how this movie kind of like manipulates you into being on Hannibal's side until he breaks out, eats somebody's face, and just fucking disembowels the guards and shit, and then wears the fucking face on his like, face! This is insane! <laughs> and then at that point, you're just like, holy shit, he's a cannibal! Yeah! <laughs> the movie does that good of a job, you forget. My god, this guy is insane! This guy is a, ha is a cannibal! He's a serial killer! But he's just so polite, so sophisticated and proper that... Honestly, when you watch the movie for the first time, you forget about that shit. And... It's so effective. This film is... One of the best. It's one of the best, and I'm happy I finally own it in Criterion. This is the proper um, way to own this film, because I love it. I also recommend the TV show. I hate, <laughs> I hate having to put this back in, because it's like so difficult. There we go. Got this bad boy in. I recommend the show Hannibal, with Mads Mikkelsen in the role of Dr. Hannibal Lecter. That show is amazing as well. Uh, next to the Signs of the Lambs is one of the best iterations of, you know, the Hannibal character. So check out the Hannibal TV show. It's amazing. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up. Let's just put this Night of the Living Dead back. Oh, I went back in. All right, so I'll show you the stack here one more time before I close this out. That is my Criterion haul for the Criterion sale. Make sure you take advantage of these four films. Uh, I own Pan's Labyrinth and Criterion and the Jackie Chan, the double feature of Police Story, Police Story 2. So badass. This comes with a poster as well. See? It's pretty cool. Uh, these, these are the first two Criterions that I, I picked up. They've been in my collection, but now, boom, look at that stack. Six Criterions in the collection. That's what I call success, people. Thanks for watching, as always. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a like if you want, and again, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Epic D Media. it'll be in the description down below, and thanks for watching as always guys, stay safe out there, and keep on collecting.